News Channel 11. Sports Wherever you Radio. listen throughout the world, it's football time in Tennessee. Henry, this will be Martin, this will be Henry. He died. Give him six. That's all. Touchdown, Tennessee. Snap, the kick is in the air, and the kick this time is no sir Reed. No, sir, Reed. <laughs> wow, give him six. It's football time in Tennessee. The national champions are clad in big orange. For more than 30 years, iconic play-by-play -play man John Ward brought Tennessee football and basketball games to life as the voice of the Vols and Vol Network radio broadcasts. Last night, that voice was silenced when Ward was pronounced dead at 88 years old. Ward never missed a game in more than 350 consecutive football broadcasts while calling nearly 1,000 basketball games. He served as a play-by-play -play voice for Tennessee basketball for 34 years and for UT football from 1968 to 1998. Today, his colleagues at the Vols Network remember the man that meant so much to the entire state. He would always tell you, if it was a big game, I don't need you excited, I don't need you psyched up, I need you prepared. He knew how to package the broadcast, he knew how to sell the broadcast, he understood what Tennessee fans wanted, and he gave it to them in pretty simple formula. The one thing that all fans could agree on is John Ward's the best. Turn the TV down, turn John Ward up, and he is a symbol of pride that I think we'll, we will continue to have long after today. Now, Ward worked with head coaches from Doug Dickey to Jerry Green and those who came after his retirement understood the large shadow he cast over three decades. Even current ETSU assistant basketball coach Brooke Savage, who grew up listening to Ward while in North Carolina. You remember where you were when, when Florida missed the field goal. You remember watching the game when, when Peyton Manning to Joey Kent on the first play. You remember all that stuff. Um, and not just those plays, but you know, being with your dad, your grandma, grandpa, or your mom, or wh whoever, your friends. And so that was what he, I think he did, is he just connected everybody in that fan base. We all huddled around the radio 